Hello again, folks. It's Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And tonight's demonstration is going to be on a unit sent in by Dave uh, from Phoenix, Arizona. Pretty much just up the up the road from me, I guess. Uh, this is from a '73 Ford uh, Lincoln uh, Lincoln Mark IV vehicle. Um, it's a modern conversion. The original radio the <laughs> the radio was originally AM FM. Now it's uh, uh, modern AM FM with a much increased audio output power because we went with the uh, with the harness uh, as opposed to the original connectors so we got a completely isolated uh, ground speaker system so we're just going to go ahead and turn this on and run this thing through all its paces make sure everything works before we send her back to Dave we've got her set to FM at the moment so we'll just go ahead and run down the line and see how many FM stations we pick up after conversion Arizona Public Radio, KNAU. All things considered from NPR. Leftover salmon and Ralph. Thank you for hearing the dip. Our number eight seven. December of 48. Hey, what's up? This is Britt Nicole. about 30 or uh, 31 FM stations or so flip it over to let's just make sure all the presets work I preset all the FM station presets do a quick check of those okay now we'll flip it over to AM and of course we'll only get a couple AM stations a rapper to the power there's one and there's one a little further down this way which is Major reasons the okay, so those are AM station. So we'll go back to FM just for fun. We're going to check the uh, the line input. Uh, this customer has requested the uh, the super cool input output box that I can offer for this type of unit. Uh, it's got our left left and right front rear uh, preamp outputs and also a subwoofer preamp output. And then these will be our auxiliary input jacks. And we're just going to check that real quick. The uh, radio will switch over automatically when we connect the uh, signal to the aux in jacks it's an uh, automatic switching so let's feed a signal in there okay there's our tone and the radio is switched over and there's our tone to the left side radio remains switched over for 20 seconds uh, after the aux input but it will come back immediately after the a-track input and uh, if you don't like the uh, delay after the uh, aux input use you can just turn the unit off turn it right back on and it cancels that delay out Okay, now we're going to uh, demonstrate the uh, the virtual tone and balance controls. And for this, we're going to need our uh, output level meters into the picture. So, let's see if we can find those. Okay, there we are. And as you can see, we got pretty equal balance between all four speakers right now. And uh, we're going to activate the virtual front rear fader and the virtual left right balance functions. Uh, we do that with the tone control on this radio uh, to activate the the fader, the front rear fader. We uh, rotate it twice to the right, uh, and then we wait for a four beep signal, letting us know that the function is activated. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to uh, bring our tone control to about the center. I'm going to rotate it twice to the right and activate that virtual left, uh, virtual front rear fader. So here we go. Okay, there's our tones. Okay, now our tone control is adjusting the front rear balance. As long as this function is activated, as long as you keep adjusting it, it'll remain activated. So let's put it right back to about center and we'll let the function time out with one beep. Okay, there's our timeout signal, and now it's just a tone control again. Okay, now we're going to do the uh, virtual left right balance control. Same procedure, except we rotate it twice to the left. So here we go. Okay, there's our four tones. And now we're adjusting the left right balance. 
with that same control, that outer tone control. Okay, so we'll put all the speakers back to about center, let it time out. Okay, and now we can return our tone control to the usual listening position, which is usually most of the way up for most folks, maximum treble. Okay, so we've demonstrated the uh, AM and FM, the virtual balance and fader functions, uh, reception, this cool uh, input output box. Only thing we haven't checked is the uh, tape function. So let's uh, go back to the unit. If I can figure out how to do that. Okay, we've got our trusty little Temptations tape. Punch them in. Nice bright sounding A track. We're gonna switch tracks a bunch of times. So now we'll pull our tape out, and the radio will come right back on. Alrighty. And then the uh, only thing we haven't yet checked is the dial lamp, so we'll check that real quick. You can see that flashing on and off. So that uh, completes all the testing. Uh, the unit is working properly on all functions, and this uh, unit is ready to go back to Dave. And thank you, Dave, for your business. I'm going to get this thing out of here so I can get the next video on the way uh, so i will bid you guys a fond farewell for the moment here i am uh, this is barry with barry's a track and classic car radio repair needless to say i can do modern conversions on am and am fm radios uh, on a uh, on just an am radio it adds fm and can add a lot more output power uh, you can reach me uh, also for a track work either for home or for car use uh, my number is nine two eight five three three nine six 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 my website is in the description below uh, thank you very much for watching and listening we'll see you next time